Yo, song number three that we're gonna be talking about off of my album Thrive is Zombie Apocalypse. The Zombie Apocalypse is kind of a goofy song, right? I did the hook as a joke. I had this beat, it's kind of a dance beat. I did it as a joke to just kind of make my wife laugh. And then, then I, after I did it, I was like, yo, this is kind of raw. So I wrote a song to it. As with some of my posts, this might be a little controversial, but it is what it is, Joe. Um, zombie apocalypse is about, you know, we're all worried that there's going to be a zombie apocalypse and there's movies about it and TV shows and video games and whatever. And we're kind of waiting for the dead, the walking dead. But yo, if you look around, if you look around at what's happening in this world, you know, one, without Christ, we are the walking dead. We're dead. We're dead in our sins. We're dead in our trespasses. You know, he is life and brings us to life, right? But two, what the song kind of focuses on mainly is our situation in society right now, right? There is a thing, and I pray you guys would do some investigating on your own, right? Don't be a zombie. There's a thing called perception management. The vast majority of what we see on the news, on social media, in movies, TV shows, commercials, advertising, is social engineering. That means they are implanting personalities into us they are implanting desires they are implanting likes and dislikes they are implanting uh stress and and drama and racial divide they are implanting you know opinions about certain things and for the for the vast majority of us we don't even know this is happening they're managing our perception of reality by controlling what we think and we don't even know it's happening it happens on facebook it happens on youtube there's there's engineers there's a room with 20 30 engineers that youtube has that are just thinking how do they get you to stay longer on youtube you know facebook they they went and they worked with people that work with slot machines and to see how did they get you to stay there longer and not only how did they get us to stay there longer how do they then influence us and how do they get us to come back quicker right with the alerts like hey did you know that this person just posted this right and all of this is to manage our perception it's it's mass mind control don't even, don't even get me started on vaccines Yo, um, that's the zombie apocalypse I'm talking about. Don't be a part of it. Educate yourself. Don't listen to me. Look, look into it yourself. Look into chemtrails. You know, there, there's so many times, you know, that I've posted stuff in the past and, and people will answer to, to what I posted. And this, you know, generally, I, have I been wrong before? I think I've been wrong once. That's my wife. Um, but generally before I post something, you know, I'll, I'll do a decent amount of reading and look at all the sides and see, and then do the best you can to decide what looks like truth. Right. But I'll have people then post to it and I could tell they've never looked into it. They've never looked into chemtrails. They've never looked into vaccines. They've never looked at what our phones do to us. Right. What micro, what microwave radiation does to us. And they're just parroting back what they've been told let's not be those people all right and i encourage you to encourage me you know let's let's educate each other let's let's encourage each other if we have been deceived let's point it out and here's another quick thing before i finish this one up there's two ways to point things out as a critic or as a coach and a lot of times you know and i've i've made the mistake before so i'm not blaming other people you know if I see something wrong, I'll point it out, but like a critic, kind of like bringing you down, like, ah, oh, you ain't even know that. Look at you. That's why this world is filled with dummies and blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't believe that works. I believe that that's just maybe a naive way to do it, 
when we're still young in the Lord and young in knowledge, we don't know yet that that doesn't work. A better way that I think works is to be a coach. You know, and to be a coach, you have to love people. You, you, you have to want to see them get better. And if you see there's something they're believing or thinking that's harming them, then we could step in and, and with a spirit of love be like, I love you, but check this out. That thing right there that you're believing, that's false. That's wrong. And look at what it's doing to your life. So I pray that we kill the spirit of criticism and help build up the spirit of, the spirit of being a coach and, and making disciples and, and, and educating people on the truth in this life, all right? In the mighty name of Jesus.